What is the crack lads? And we are back with another video. Your eyes are not deceiving you. We are playing Pez 2013. <sighs> desperate times call for desperate measures lads. I am missing Master League wickedly. Wickedly! Now first of all, before we start, rate my crisps. God tier or miss? Pass or miss? Let me know in the comments below. I love a bit of prawn cocktail. But um, yeah, we're back playing PES 2013, lads. I mean, I've been trying for the last two weeks to get this going on my original PS3. Um, and we're going to start a Master League. So we're going to do a proper full-length season of Master League. And maybe, who knows, another season or two. Um, and again, it's going to be driven by you guys. So you guys will tell me who to sign. I'm going to be doing a couple of live uh, streams as well on YouTube and maybe Twitch, depending on what my setup is. Um, yeah, look, I mean, I'm as disappointed as anyone, lads, with, with no Master League in eFootball yet. And it doesn't seem to be coming for a while. And I think when I think back, I think my best Master League experience was probably with PES 2013. Now, obviously, it was a different time, lads. I was a different, I was a different person back then. I was, you know, we're going back nearly 10 years. I was, I was but a wee baby. Um, but yeah, I mean, I loved, I loved PES 2013 so much. Um, I loved it a lot. And as you can see here, I think the menus, everything looks really good. Now, um, the, Ricky, the true Brits, actually has started a series as well. He's actually going to be playing on PC, from what I know. He beat me to the punch by releasing a video. Um, but I'm playing on an original PS3 with a PS5 pad, uh, which works just as a normal Bluetooth-enabled uh, controller. Um, and we do have an option file, I think, I hope. Uh, we're going to have a look at the option file here that we have loaded. So huge shout out to Paul, who's part of Pez Uni. Um, and the thing is, lads, we will potentially be making this option file available. This is Paul's option file that he would have made back nearly nine, ten years ago. Um, and all you need to have is, you know, a legit copy of Pez 2013, uh, your box copy of Pez 2013, um, and, you know, your actual PS3. Pop, pop the disc in and then you're going to be able to download the option file you need to be on data pack 6, but we'll get into that. We'll do a, another video on that. But lads, this is what I have at the moment. So, I mean, the memories are going to come flooding back here as we go in and take a look at a couple of players. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just it's just crackers, man. It's crackers. And you can see some of the player faces obviously look incredible. Um, some of the player faces look like, you know, so good uh, for, for the time. Obviously, we've got Van Persie just before his move. To Manchester United looks pretty decent. The kits are all in. Um, everything looks spot on, man. There's a lot of editing gone into this. We have got full Premier League, as you can see here. Uh, Manchester United were actually edit or were licensed in it, but we've got full Premier League here, including Sunderland, who had a really good team at the time. Um, yeah, I mean Van der Vaart and Bale and Modric, all at uh, all at Tottenham. So they might be a team that we pick. In the Master League, they'd be a very interesting choice to pick. I think we have our mind on one, um, but we will see. Van der Vaart looks really, really nice there. So what I'm going to do in this video, lads, right, is I'm going to just introduce this kind of series and introduce the Master League, um, give a run through of the, the option file we're going to be using, um, and then we're just going to take a look at some stuff and explore PES 2013 in a short enough video. And then I'm going to get you guys to let me know what team you would like to see me play a Master League. I was thinking of doing a default series, like with the defaults, and Richard Harty would be back in the four. But I think for this series, we are going to pick a real team, um, because there's a lot of stuff in the option file that I want to kind of showcase and stuff like that. But man, some of the teams here just flooding back the memories. Pato, what a player he was in PES 2013. Absolutely incredible. Look at him. Look at the beast. And I think if I don't start with AC Milan, I think I'm going to have to buy Pato as one of my players. Um, I hope the sound quality, the video quality, I hope everything is good, lads. Um, as I said, I am playing on a PS3. So, yeah, there, there might be a couple of issues. Robinho. Oh, man. The memories. Just the absolute memories that come flooding back here in this game is just ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. You've got Vidal, Pirlo. Let's have a look at Pirlo. Let's see what he looks like. Oh, Pirlo's looking saucy, saucy, saucy. Pirlo for Juve. And this is, as I said, lads, as well, this is the season, the transfers and the squads and everything are as normal for PES 2013. Um, and obviously, there'll be a couple of players that are still with their original teams. Um, but we've got everything. We've got full Barclays Premier League. We've got League One. 
We've got uh, Syria, Erdovici, Liga, BBVA, which was licensed, Portuguese League. We've got a Bundesliga, lads. We've got a Bundesliga with Raul. Oh, man, Raul, if he has a face. I think he does. I think he does. Oh, Raul, is that an edited face? No, that looks like his face, man, or else it could be a face scan in. Um, but yeah, I mean, there was just so much that you could do in PES 2013's edit mode, lads. It was actually quite... Yeah, it was quite amazing, really. And we've also got all of these players as well. We might play a couple of matches with these. You've got all the legend teams. So you've got all the, the legends and stuff like that, Gascoigne. Um, obviously, some of them won't have real faces. But yeah, I mean, we've got Zidane there, Eric Cantona. We've got all these classic teams, um, Romario, Ronaldo, Ronaldinho, all those guys um, are going to be there. Uh, Maradona, Batistuta. I think Maradona was like one of the highest rated players in the game um but yeah i mean it was just man it was just different times you could see with the short shorts there look at the stats look at messi lads right i was looking at messi so messi is obviously with barca in his prime or he's in his prime at barca but look at barca's team valdez piol pique alves jordi alba busquets xavi iniesta sanchez messi and pedro what a team man seriously what a team and obviously they had carlos uh or david villa as well and Tello and Thiago and Cesc Fabregas, Mascherano, man, what a team that was. But Messi is ridiculous in it, right? Like his face is all right, but his stats, man, oh my days, his stats are incredible. 99 attack, 98 dribble accuracy, 99 shot accuracy, 97 explosive power, 98 <laughs> dribble speed. Ridiculous. And then obviously we have his rival, his rival, Cristiano who is leading the line. What about this for a team from Real Madrid? Cassius, Pepe, Ramos, Arbe Arbeloa, Marcelo, Alonso, Kadira, Maria, Ronaldo, Ozil, Benzema, Carvalho on the bench, lads. Varane on the bench. Raul Albiol on the bench. Watch Varane! Watch the head in him! Oh my days, the hair! <laughs> oh, that's after giving me a good laugh, lads. That is banter. We're definitely going to have to change that hairstyle in a minute. Lassana Diara is there as well. He looks unreal. Nuri Sahin. Kaka, of course, as well, rounding off this squad, man. This is an unbelievable squad. What age was Kaka actually here? He must have been, you know, I was thinking he was about 30. So this was the season before they bought Bale, obviously, uh, or before they bought Modric. Uh, Higuain is still knocking about there. But look at Ronaldo, lads. Absolute demon. He was obviously the poster boy for this squad, for this uh, game. He's got the nice little haircut. Looks pretty decent. And then obviously we have his ability as well 98 attack 92 long pass speed um there's a couple of different um passing stats here so obviously at the moment we have low pass and we have lofted pass now you have short pass short pass speed and accuracy long pass speed and long pass accuracy shot accuracy plays kicking all really good um i think his speed was yeah his speed was 97 his explosive speed his top speed uh was very 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 good as well um so yeah, I mean, what a player he was, to be fair. Absolutely incredible. But there's just so many players here, lads. Like, just there's... And then, obviously, on top of that, then, as well, we do have the edited stuff that Paul has done in the option file. So we've got some absolute legends here inside that are either classic players all fixed up and proper names and stuff like that. So, like, you've got Dennis Wise. You've got uh, Schillivert. You've got Pavel Nedved. You've got Solskjaer. I mean, the list goes on and on and on and on. Obviously, some of these will look incredible. Some of these won't look, uh, you know, they won't have a face. But we've got Figo there. We've got Georgie Best. Absolutely incredible, lads. We've got loads of classic players there. You've got classic players 2, 3, all them guys, all the way up. Um, but yeah, I mean, we're going to be... Look at that. JJ Okacha, Dennis Law. Right, Keen. Did I spot Keno? Keno. Oh, look at Keno, man. What is he on? Oh, legend. Legend. What's his stats, though? He better have 99 aggression. 93 stamina. Tenacity, 98. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Teamwork, 93. But there's all that. And then we have the edited players, the creative players um, that would have been made. So you have Del Piero added back. Casemiro, who's a DMF. Um, there's a load of load of guys here that I was looking at. Darmian right back, obviously, would be a name that's familiar. There's a load of there's a load of players here um, that we'll be able to have a look through and uh, maybe sign in a master league. But yeah, let's look. We could stay looking through this all day and all night. Really, there's just so much. Look at Janino, lads. 
Oh my days, with an edited face and everything. Absolute quality, what age? He's a bit old, but he might do a job for us. He might do a job for us yet, lads. Um, so yeah, lads, there's so, mu there's so much going on here. There's so much craziness going on. We also have, of course, a couple of the new players, added, or the, the players that weren't originally in the game added back. So we do have the likes of Adriano, uh, who is here, I think. And Adriano looks like an absolute boss. And his, his shot power, obviously, was going to be ridiculous. Obviously not as powerful as it was before in PES 6, but still there. We also have, as far as I think, we have uh, Ronaldinho, as far as I know. We'll see. Ronaldinho should be there, thereabouts somewhere. There he is. Is it the right Ronaldinho, though? Yeah, man, there we go. Ronnie, he's back with a proper face and everything. Serious option file this is, lads, the hair and everything. Um... But yeah, I mean, I just, my, my memories, and they're all probably flooding back to you, lads. Sorry, I'm, this is turning into a bit of a longer video. This is just kind of a showcase of um, the edit mode, really, more than anything. I think the thing I loved about PES 2013 was just the sheer customization in it. So, for example, this was still in the days that you could go into Rooney, and you could, like, keep his face in-game, but you could change his hairstyle. So you could actually put Rooney, you know, with a, with a hat. You could put him with, like, you know, I don't know, like glasses <laughs> oh that is hilarious you could put him with big mad hair you know um oh look at this <laughs> oh man this game is crazy look at this he looks like a judge he looks like a judge man so you could put all these crazy stuff on your players oh i need to change that hold on i need to change that now come on i need to change his bag default all right we'll leave it at the default obviously but yeah you could do all that sort of stuff and change all the stuff that you wanted to change um remember this guy bebe yeah lads i'm like a, a kid in a, a candy store here at the moment there's just so much to go through um and then even if you go into the actual editing the teams when you edit the teams themselves you could edit all the stadiums and stuff like that you could have a stadium creator all of these uh teams or all of these stadiums are added here you could edit them and then save them as a you know as an edited stadium and name them and all that sort of stuff so yeah all of them stadiums are created um and then there was just there was just so much to do man there was so much to do and it was obviously still in the days a lot of newcomers won't recognize all of these stuff here but you could actually go in to the emblem and if you wanted to go into free draw you could like design your own one by hand you could draw it by hand or whatever um and then that's how you would import them in or else you could select the image or whatever but yeah man this is this is going to be a bit crackers right it is going to be a bit cracked we have De Bruyne there on Chelsea we're going to have to have a look at him there in a second as well but yeah look I'm going to be starting a master league with it lads I'm like a kid in a candy store there's so many good teams that I could start a master league with here like, I could start with Arsenal and rebuild and just take over just as Winger and maybe not let him fall into, into, um, into where they fell after Winger went. Um, we could pick Chelsea. You know, we could pick Chelsea just before they started to pop off um, as well. And obviously, they had won some stuff before that. But this was a different team. You know, maybe we keep um, De Bruyne. Maybe we keep Hazard around. Maybe we keep Lukaku a little bit longer. Uh, maybe we talk in... John Terry into staying for another season. David Luiz, Torres, maybe get the best out of him. Liverpool, obviously, as well. You look at this Liverpool squad, man. I mean, this was just a crazy squad compared to where they are at the moment. They still had Sterling, obviously. They had Suarez there on the bench. They had Robinson still there. Only a youngster, Joe Cole, was there. Uh, Carragher was still playing. Stevie G was still playing. Man City, obviously, had that team that was just after winning. Uh, which was an incredible team as well, Aguero and Zeko up front, did Santa Cruz on the bench, Tevez, Balotelli, Adebayor, everybody was there, um, they had a really, really good team, um, and then obviously you go further afield, like with PSG, or Leon, they had a really good team as well, PSG was obviously before the big influx of, of cash money, you know, um, they had Ibra still there, Lavezzi, uh, Tiago Mata, New Minez, Pastori, Sacco, Alex, they had Thiago Silva still there. Um, yeah, there's just so many teams, man. Inter Milan is always a team that I l used to love playing with as well. Um, you've got Juventus. We've got all the big boys that we could play with. AC Milan would be a fantastic team as well. Um, and then obviously, yeah, picking Barca or Real Madrid, I think would be a bit of a cheat because their squads are so good. 
but it depends on who we're going to actually pick Bayern Munich obviously as well so um there's a couple of changes I need to make to that squad obviously but Godogan is there um but Bayern Munich then obviously are there as well they've got a fairly decent team Robin and Ribery and all those boys we'll get in and have a look at them in a minute but uh yeah I'm thinking it's probably narrowed down the idea that I had was I wanted to see could I make a squad with Manchester United they were the team that I was thinking of picking um obviously I am a United fan so there would be the interest there but the biggest reason I wanted to kind of pick United was their squad and this was my thinking behind it their squad was kind of this squad was kind of coming to the to the end of their their tenure let's say you know Ferdinand was 33 Evra was 31 uh Carrick was 31 so they were kind of grand in their prime you could say but then we had Scolzi at 36, who was only probably going to get a season out of him. Giggsy only at 37, we were probably going to get a season out of him as well. Vidic was there, he's 30. Obviously, we'll get another couple of seasons out of him before he starts to decline. But then, you know, we had a lot of positions that we needed to fill. Because obviously, Ronaldo was gone and we hadn't really replaced him. Van Persie wasn't with the squad yet. Um, but that starting 11, you take Scholes and Giggs out of it. And then you have well back up front. It's not the strongest. But... Um, yeah, look, we will see what happens. Let me know in the comments below what team you would like me to pick. I'm leaning towards United, um, but if you guys can convince me anybody else, let me know. But yeah, this is going to be a mad one, man. I hope you guys are up for something different. I mean, I'm loving Dream Team at the moment when it plays well. Some games can be disastrous, but I am enjoying eFootball 22 for all intents and purposes. But there's something that I just need scratched. I need to scratch this itch that I have with Master League and having an actual like you know real investment into a game mode where I can build my own squad um and have the challenge of just going back playing classic Pez man that's basically what it's about so yeah that is it for me lads I hope you enjoyed this introduction episode we'll be back quite soon and uh yeah <laughs> it's gonna be a bit mad I know it's a bit mad but we're going back in time man and uh, I hope you guys enjoy it let me know any feedback in the comments below is it a pass or is it a miss and uh we will talk to you soon peace lads good luck